In this lecture, we will learn binary multiplication. In binary addition lecture, we found 0 plus 0 gives sum equal to 0 and carry equals to 0. 1 plus 0 or 0 plus 1 gives sum equal to 1 and carry equals to 0. And 1 plus 1 gives sum equal to 0 and carry equals to 1. This last result is very important. And when we talk about multiplication, 0 multiplied by 0 gives 0. And 1 multiplied by 0 or 0 multiplied by 1 also gives product as 0 and 1 multiplied by 1 gives product as 1. So these are the results we will use when we have to multiply two binary numbers both having more than one bit. So let's move to example. The first binary number is 1010 and second binary number is 101. I will magnify this multiplication by including the weights of position. This first column will have weight equal to 2 raised to power 0. The second column will have weight equal to 2 raised to power 1. Third column is having weight 2 raised to power 2. And the fourth column is having weight 2 raised to power 3. Now we will move to multiplication. I will multiply 1, 0, 1, 0. These are the coefficients of the first number 1, 0, 1, 0 by this 1. And let's see what we have. 1 multiplied by 0 will give us 0. We just saw. 1 multiplied by 0 gives us 0. Now we have to find out weight of this position. 0 multiplied by this is the result, 0 is the result and the weights are 2 raised to power 0 multiplied by 2 raised to power 0. 2 raised to power 0 is nothing but 1 so we have 0 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 1 or I can write 0 multiplied by 1 and again I can write this 1 as 2 raised to power 0. So weight of this result is 2 raised to power 0 so this 0 will settle in the first column and when I multiply this 1 by this 1 result is going to be 1 simply and weight is going to be 2 raised to power 1 so the result 1 will settle in the second column with weight 2 raised to power 1 and when I multiply this 1 by this 0 result is going to be 0 and weight is going to be 2 raised to power 2 so it will go in the third column and finally when I multiply this 1 by this MSB I will get result as 1 and weight is equal to 2 raised to power 3 so this is what we have for this 1 and now we will move to this 0 I will again multiply 1 0 1 0 by this 0 and let's see what we have in this case 0 multiplied by 0 will give us 0, 0 is the result and uh, now we have to find out the weight. So 2 raised to power 1 multiplied by 2 raised to power 0 will give us 2 raised to power 1 because 2 raised to power 0 is nothing but 1. So this result 0 is going to settle in the second column. So we have 0 here and I will put a cross mark in the first column for this row because none of the result will have weight equal to 2 raised to power 0. Now I will multiply this 0 by this 1 so the result is 0, 0 multiplied by 1 is 0 and weight is going to be 2 raised to power 2. 2 raised to power 1 multiplied by 2 raised to power 1 is 2 raised to power 2. 0 multiplied by 0 is 0. 2 raised to power 1 multiplied by 2 raised to power 2 is 2 raised to power 3. 0 multiplied by 1 is 0 again with weight 2 raised to power 4. Now I will repeat the same procedure for this 1. 1 multiplied by 0 is 0 and we have to find out the weight. So 2 raised to power 2 multiplied by 2 raised to power 0. 2 raised to power 0 is 1. So we have 0 multiplied by 2 raised to power 2. And 2 raised to power 2 is for the third column. So our result 0 will settle in the third column and I will put cross mark in column 1 and column 2. I will quickly complete this 1 multiplied by 1 is 1, 1 multiplied by 0 is 0, 1 multiplied by 1 is 1. This is what we have and now we will perform the addition because of this reason only we revised the results of boolean addition and now we are going to use it. We will perform the addition in each and every column. We will add the results of each and every column and in first column we have 0 only so 0 multiplied by 2 raised to power 0. In second column we have 1 and 0 1 plus 0 
is 1. In third column, we have three zeros. 0 multiplied by 2 raised to power 2. In fourth column, we have 1, 0, 1. 1 plus 0 is 1 and 1 plus 1 is 0. 0 is the sum and 1 is the carry. And in fifth column, we have 1 plus 0 plus 0. So 1 is the sum and 0 is the carry. And in last column, we only have 1. So 1 multiplied by 2 raised to 5. So this is what we have as the result of the multiplication. I will neglect the weights and we will write down the coefficients only. So we have 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. Let me write down these coefficients 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. So this is our answer and you can definitely cross check it. 1, 0, 1, 0 is 10. This is 10. 1, 0, 1 is 5 and this result you can easily evaluate in decimal. This is the position for 1, this is the position for 2, 4, 8, 16 and 32. And you can clearly see we have 32, we have 16, we don't have 8 and 4, we have 2 and we don't have 1. So 32 plus 16 plus 2 is equal to 5050 and when you multiply 10 and 5 the result is 50. So our answer is correct and it is advised to cross check your answer by converting the binary numbers to decimal because there are so many zeros and ones involved and the chances are very high that you commit some mistake. So when you do binary multiplication or binary division, always convert the binary numbers to decimal and cross check your answer. Every time you don't have to write down these weights, you can directly perform the multiplication. Let's see how we can do it. 1010 zero, zero is the first number and uh, let's say another number is there 1 1 so I will multiply 1010 zero, zero by this 1 we will have 1010 zero, zero. and uh, when you multiply 1010 zero, zero by this 1 you don't have to start from this position you have to start from the second position that we have already seen the reason for it so we have 0 1 0 1 and finally you have to perform the addition in the first column we have only 0 then we have 1 0 plus 1 is 1 1 plus 0 is 1 and in the last column we have 1 so this is our answer don't include weights in exam this is only to make things more concrete in your head now we will move to homework problem the first number is 1 1 0 1 this is the first number and the second number is 1 1 you have to perform the multiplication and once you have your answer post it in comment section if you have any doubt regarding any part of this presentation you may ask in the comment section